Welcome back to Forbes Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where here in the top of the ninth inning, the New York Yankees are desperately trying to mount another rally and get back into this game. The Yankees trail the Pirates 9-7, to but with no one out and two aboard for New York, the Pirates have been forced to go to their bullpen for Harvey Haddock. Here's Haddock's pitch. It's swung on and a grounder to Nelson behind the bag at first. He steps on first. Mantle now comes back to first, slides headlong, and he's safe. Mantle took off with a crack in the bat when Nelson got there first. Mantle turned and came back to first, diving head first and twisting in such a way to avoid Nelson's tag. On the play, though, McDougal came on to score a tying run. Now there are two outs in the top of the ninth inning of a tie game, 9-9. to nine. Swung around and Scowron sends a ground ball off the shortstop throat. He's up with it. Flips to Mazeroski at second to force Mantle to end the inning. So at the end of eight and a half innings of play, the score is tied nine to nine. And here we are in game seven. The score tied nine to nine as we head into the bottom of the ninth. Ralph Terry will face Bill Mazeroski, the pitcher spot, and then Bill Bird. Wait a minute, it looks like it won't be Mazeroski. Tired manager Danny Murtaugh is going to his bench. Well, we really didn't expect this. Mazeroski's home run in game one was the winning blow for the Pirates. He's figured in a rally today, but looks as if it'll be Lyle S. Peterson. Peterson will be pinch hitting for Bill Mazeroski. Peterson, a 5 foot 10 inch, 185 pounder out of Jamestown, New York, who now still makes his home in Jamestown, will be sent in to pinch hit. Peterson hasn't been used much by the Pirates since joining the club in mid-August. In fact, he's been used mostly in the late innings for defensive purposes. The book on Lyle is that he's more of a glove man than a hitter. But with no outs and no one on, Murtaugh sends the graduate of Jamestown High School in 1945 and Allegheny College in 1950 up against Terry. Lyle was known as Psy Psy Flash back then. Peterson swings a couple of bats over his head to loosen up. We see that the 33-year-old is quite an interesting fellow off the field. First guide notes that Peterson is not only a horseback rider, but loves to tell his pirate teammate stories. It's a real gift for the gas. Our men in the booth tell me that among Peterson's family and friends here at Forbes Field today, hoping their man can come through and get on base to start a rally, are his wife Gladys, his uncle Eric Peterson, and former pirate great Barry D. Well, Peterson looks like he's about ready. Born in Jamestown, New York, still lives there. Well, I'm sure fans from that neck of the woods are watching right now. Terry throws the rubber. Goes into his windup. Steps and deals. Swing and a miss. Strike one. So it's 0-1 to the stocky Peterson. Terry just blew that one by him. He looked overmatched on that pitch. On one to the pinch hitter and part-time second baseman. You know, if this one goes in extra innings, we would expect Lyle to take over second for the Pirates. Terry looks into Blanchard to sign. The right-handed Peterson faces the right-handed offerings of Terry. Terry into his motion. Rocks and kneels. Peterson swings. It's a long drive deep to left. Barra moving back. He's still back. It's going. It's gone. I don't believe it. A home run by pinch hitter Lyle Peterson. The Pirates win their first World Series since 1925. Peterson took an all hand fastball at the ball and just pushed it. Bear went back to the running track and could only watch the ball last safely in the bleachers. First place is a madhouse. Pittsburgh wins it 10 to 9 in the bottom of the ninth inning. Peterson is mobbed as he tries to make his way to home plate. Well, he's been a Pirate fan all of his life and now his wildest dream comes true. The Pirates are the champions of the baseball world and have rebounded to beat the New York Yankees. What an ending to a tremendous series. We've been running over our allotted time here. Only time enough to say goodbye from a very, very happy Forbes field where Lyle S. Peterson pulls the left center to give the Pirates a world championship flag. We need to leave you at this point. We're running out of time to repeat the score once more. The Pittsburgh Pirates 10, the New York Yankees 9. Good day, everyone.